Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. Gorell here. Today we're doing a different kind of show or video. It will be my Disney World Star Wars haul. That's right. Uh, the me and the family, the family and I, yeah, there you go. The family and I went to Disney World and I had said no. Disney slash Star Wars. You will not get any of my money. I have had an issue with Star Wars for a while. And you will not receive one solid nickel from me. I'm going to hold to my guns. And I'm going to do it this time. I don't believe you. I have a whole table in front of me full of stuff. So let's just get into this. Uh, so there I am at Disney World. The wife says we need to go to Hollywood Studios. That's where Star Wars is. I said, not interested. Uh, you know, but the son wanted to go. So I said, all right. We start going. We start walking. And like I said, you know, Disney. I haven't been happy with Disney. What they did with Star Wars. Go around the corner. And that's when the theming begins. And I felt it. Itchy. I started to get itchy. My pocketbook started to... To have this small little hmm, you know. Um, and we sat down and we had lunch. And I looked around and I saw a little kid. He had this. It's nothing more than a cup. <laughs> Open it up like that. Put your drink in. And I said, you know what? Fine. I will... Give me hard with this microphone in the way. I will get this cup. It's actually pretty cool. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in here. It's got weathering on it. Looks pretty good. I'm going to get this cup, but nothing else. You're not going to get me. I'm not, I'm not buying anything else, Star Wars. You're going to get me for that one cup, and that's it. We left where we were eating, and we start walking, and... Uh, we go into a gift store. The wife is really pushing for this because I think she knew that I was full of crap. That I was going to be buying Star Wars. Uh, then the wife, she said, hey, what is this thing? Now, I think she knew exactly what it is. Um, it's a holocron. And I, uh, well, let's take a look. So, you spin it like this. And if you hear it. It lights up. Yeah. And then there's a special thing you hold because the holocrons, well, they have messages, so. Am I holding it right? Let's see. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. <sighs> well, if you know me, you know that I am a huge uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi fan. And once I saw this light up, and once Master Kenobi started talking to me, Star Wars got a few of my dollars. I'm not gonna lie, they did. Master Obi Wan Kenobi, I regret to report that both. He says like he says a few different lines. It's really cool. It's gonna look look great behind me when I put it over there. And I said fine. But that's it, Star Wars. You got me on Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, you haven't ruined them for me. But that's it. I, I, I'm not going to do it anymore. And I'm going to say that's it a lot. And it's probably going to get annoying. And I do apologize ahead of time. However, uh, I turn around and my son, well, he was wearing this on his head. And he said, oh, dad, this is so cool. Can I have it? And it is pretty cool. And I don't know if I can get it to work. Let's see. I don't know if you can hear it, but it does have the voice in there. They're, they're talking, and it's like a Starfighter helmet. And and uh, it's, as usual, Disney and Star Wars, really well done. The weathering, the helmet. 
a uh, little microphone here. Let's see if I can just give it a little spin for you. So, uh, I justified that one by saying, well, you know, it's my money. However, it's for the sun. Uh, so, you know, who cares, right? It's for the sun. It's not my money. Uh, the wife's buying it for him. So that one's, I'm gonna let that one slip right by. I'm gonna let that one slip right by. And then while I was at the cash register, <laughs> I saw this and it was on sale with Disney on sale. And it is, uh, Moff Gideon, uh, with the black, obviously with this black saber. And, uh, I didn't have this one. And well, I figured that kind of wasn't like giving Disney my money. I like, listen, I know everything I'm saying is completely ridiculous <laughs> because clearly Disney is just reaching both hands into my pocket and taking out everything I have in there. Uh, but this is how I'm justifying it. This is this is this is what I'm doing here, folks. So that was it. You know, we went home that day and uh, I was done. And then the next day, Star Wars is done. The next day we go to Magic Kingdom. It was great. Had a great time. It was fun. Buck has one of those balloons that has the, you know, the big balloon with the Mickey Mouse inside of the big balloon. It was awesome. It was great. And then the wife says, hey, I have a surprise for you. And I said, what's that? She said, I got some uh, reservations. And I've already made them. And so you can't back out. And I said, oh, okay. What are these reservations that you made that I cannot back out to? And she said, well... I try to get the lightsaber thing, but apparently you have to make those reservations months in advance. But I did get the droid factory, and I said, no, nah, I don't think so. She said, well, I've already made it, and it's too late to cancel them. And I guess I probably could up a fight. I probably could have looked up Google to see if she was telling the truth. But at this point, I just said, you know what? Disney's already got my money. I kind of want to stop pretending like I'm not absolutely loving star wars i mean i have issues with galaxy's edge uh no doubt it's very tiny it's very small it's very not star wars i mean it's so star wars but so not uh, they're obviously making effort to just push the new star wars that disney owned and created and uh there's a lot of people there but i don't know how successful it was like I, i've already told the story where ray and chewbacca comes out at the same time and the crowd just screaming and chanting Chewbacca and was basically ignoring Ray for the most of the most of the time, which was it made me smile because I love my Star Wars fans, but it also kind of like eh because that girl who plays Ray is awesome. She's amazing. She is nice. <laughs> she's she sees a little girl who looks like Ray. She has she stops what she's doing, goes and talks to them. Uh, you know maybe some of that is because the fans weren't exactly thrilled to see her. I don't know, but. Um, uh, it's, it's so Star Wars, but so not, I don't really know how to explain it. But at that point I just gave up and I said, fine, let's do this. So we go wait in line. You got to check in. And, uh, while we're waiting in line, the wife uh, brought me over two of these and it is the blue milk. And it basically tastes up, tastes like starburst ground up into something. <laughs> uh, the only unfortunate part is it has this on the other side, which I'm not a big fan of. When they just made Luke look silly drinking from the teat of a sea cow. I don't know if it's still lighting up, but it used to light up. I think I need new batteries. It lights up. It's kind of cool. I think I probably turned it on and forgot to turn it off. Um, I have two of these little, it's like little milk cartons. So uh, I didn't ask, but I'm sure that was also extremely expensive. So we wait in line and, and she says, you know, yeah, I have an appointment for you to, to do one build. And I said, absolutely. And then she saw that I had kids and I said, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and just let the boy, let him build it. You know, I don't need to build it. Let's let him build it. Let's let him have his Star Wars experience. And the girl came over to me, whispered to my wife. My wife said, absolutely. And I was like, what's this about? And she said, well, if you go inside, the little girl who, or not the little girl, the, the lady who takes your money, she has no idea what your reservation is for. So if you want, just tell her you have two builders. And I had immediately was saying no because, well, they're not free. So, uh, hold on, let me get this box. And uh, so I built one. Here's the box that it comes in. Um, and while I was there, my son built one as well. 
<laughs> so, although we're next to each other, we weren't really looking at each other's stuff. And this is the one that I built. He's pretty awesome, if I'm being honest. Uh, he has all these little compartments that open up and everything. Um, cause it has, it does, it does, you can get, I think you can get like extras with it and stuff. Open up you. Uh, so it has all these little compartments that open up. All right. So this is what it looks like. Here's the controller it comes with. And so when you go in there, you basically build this, you pick all the little parts you pick the different head and the body. And then these little, the, everything that's red is also options that you can choose from. Um, and this is what I decided to build. They have all kinds of different colors, clear and blue and white, and you can do like an RTD2 looking one. I chose this one. So obviously he, he turns, he goes this way. And that is the, uh, this is like the, what it comes with, this is the personality that it comes with. All right, so that is what he came with. He's pretty awesome. So I built this, and I was having my <laughs> the thing where you kind of become a kid again, to be honest with you. And I look over there, and my son is building his, and I was very jealous. Uh, it's funny because he built this. Uh, his is already pretty scuffed up because he's been driving the daylights out of this thing, and. It's magnetized, so it's pretty freaking cool. If I'm being if I'm being honest, he totally outdid me. But it was crazy because we ended up building both Empire kind of droids, and I didn't even know he was doing it. All right, so that was our two droids that we built, and it was pretty awesome. And then I'm leaving, and we're we're having a great time. And then my son points over at the wall, and he says, "Dad, what's that over there?" And I said, "Oh, probably all the accessories. We don't need accessories, son. Uh, we got our robots. We got our droids. Sorry, droids. Uh, let's just let's just go home. Let's just go find the, let's go find the rest of the family." And let's let's head out. And he said, "But what are they?" And I said, "I don't know." So we go look over there. Of course, it did. And uh, I said, "Oh, they're personality chips." And he said, "Personality chips? What do they do?" And I said, "I guess they change their personality. You're drawing." And he said, "Well, don't we need them?" I said, "No, we don't need them, son. They're expensive, uh, and you got to buy them each individual one. They're like fifteen bucks." And he said, "But our droids are imperial droids, and..." They don't come as Imperial droids. <sighs> Thank you, Disney. Because they don't come as Imperial droids. So you have to put Imperial droids chips into them. And, well, I mean, you get a discount if you buy more than one. So I had to get three, of course. Ha, <laughs> Disney is an amazing magical place, um, but one thing they are absolutely magical at is making money. Um, I don't think anybody should be shocked or surprised to hear this. I'm not mad at them for it. Um, I mean, I don't know if they need to make as much money as they do, but it is a it is a crazy magical place. And but, oh, that's how you know. See, it has a little imperial symbol on there. Yeah, that's kind of how you know. Uh, <laughs> which one to get but anyway uh they know how to make money they know how you'd kind of forget where you are forget your rationale forget your logic and just lose yourself become a child again lose track of how much money you have <laughs> don't have here's the chip so i figured right here in front of you guys i'm gonna go ahead and just put in a new chip i'm actually not 100 percent sure where it goes 
But I think I ha it has to be one of these doors in the front. And I'm assuming it's going to be this big one right here. I'm sure there's some kind of uh, directions on how to do this. I, of course, did not bother to look. So hopefully I don't break it. Okay, I didn't like that. So let's flip it. Oh, it went in. And let's see if it changes my droid's personality. Oh, it does. I hate you so much, Disney. Oh, Disney. I hate you. <laughs> All right, so now my droid is officially a part of the Empire. Um, <laughs> so, there's my Disney haul, and I'm leaving. And I, I'm happy me and my son had a moment that, uh, I mean, I had to pay a lot of money for, but it's a moment that I'll have the rest of my life. Hopefully, he'll also remember it. Um, and then my son wanted to go look for a train or something. So we go in there and I uh, pick up one more thing. I have zero control. Um, I mean, obviously, I have, don't have any control or I wouldn't be collecting things like comic books and Star Wars stuff. But again, there's something I'm watching with the kids. I mean, most of the stuff I have has got a lot of sentimental value. And I could pass this up when I saw it. So I grab one more thing. <laughs> um, from Disney. It has this like see-through stuff for the smoke. It's really, really well done. And maybe at the end of the video, I'll put it on the old spin rooney thing over there so you can get a better look at it. And uh, now, that's it. That <laughs> that is everything that I got uh, from Star Wars uh, Disney World. And just when I was finishing the video, the wife reminded me, hand me this, and I forgot. We bought one more thing. I'm ashamed. But yeah, on the way out, I, I saw this and I figured I could use a 20th water container thing. Um, um, like I said, they do an amazing job. Um, you actually leave thanking Disney because you get these memories with your kids. It was a trip that I couldn't afford without a lot of people helping. Um, and I will always be grateful for that. I, don't, I doubt we'll ever be able to afford to go back. But we have these memories. Um, and they do a really good job with the memories. But like I said, they are experts at taking money right out of your pocket. But I'm not mad. Um, I really did enjoy my time there. I got some pretty cool collectibles. And I hope you guys like them. If you like what you see, put a comment down down the bottom. Let me know what was your favorite thing. Uh, do you like the droid? Uh, what I guess like a rebel droid, or do you like his imperial chip? Which droid was the best droid? My son's droid is the best droid, but which droid is the best droid? What did you like most? Uh, if you like what you see, you can always subscribe for more Star Wars stuff, more collectible stuff. I go live on Twitch, and I'm on Instagram, all of it with Mr. Gorell. I want to thank you. If you're watching, kids, I love you. Thank you for taking me to Disney World with you, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.